This is the second part of week nine's lecture materials that are going to be available on YouTube. And with this part of the lecture, I want to talk about getting data out of Stata. Now, this is something that's happened automatically. It's part of the do file template that we've given you. Um, that do file template exports data in CSV format, which is one format we can use to store tabular data. I want to talk about that briefly, and then I want to talk uh, in a bit more detail about exporting data from Stata. So there's a variety of ways we can save tabular data. Uh, and I'm not going to go through all of them. Uh, there's just too many different file formats, but I do want to talk about a couple of different file formats with you. So the first file format that I want to talk about are CSV files. This is the tabular data format we've used most often in our class, and I just want to reiterate a couple of things. So one, we like CSV files because they're exceptionally portable. They're plain text files. Um, they can be easily read and used by a variety of applications. It's not a proprietary file format. The problem with CSV files is that while Esri claims that CSV files can be read by ArcGIS, my experience has been that they often do not get imported into ArcGIS in a usable format. And so we need alternative file formats that are more easily read by ArcGIS. So while CSV files are great for saving data, they're easily uploaded to GitHub. You can even preview them on GitHub uh, if you'd like. We want to use Microsoft Excel files to interact with ArcGIS. Uh, there's two flavors of Excel files, the XLS file and the XLSX file. Um, both of these files are actually packages of different files. These are uh, Microsoft Office documents are exceptionally complex uh, entities. They're proprietary. And so one of the criticisms that we make about Excel files is that we're relying on Microsoft to maintain their data structure in perpetuity. So if we have important data, we want to make sure it's available down the road. CSV file formats uh, are a better bet for long-term access. But like I said, Esri, Esri's products do not work well with CSV files, and so we're going to use Microsoft Excel files to do that um, work. The XLS files, those are the older Microsoft Office spreadsheet file format. Uh, they've been around since the mid-1990s. They were replaced starting a few years ago with this more modern XLSX file format. Uh, the main difference between the two for our purposes is that you can store over a million rows of data in an XLSX file versus only um, about 60,000 rows of data in an XLS file format. So depending on the size of the data you are working with, you may want to make a decision about your export format based on those number of rows. Stata gives us the option to export data in both of those file formats. The CSV file format is the export option that is included in the template that we've given you. So it involves uh, a two-word command, export delimited, followed by specifying the file name. And then we use the replace option, which allows us to overwrite that file if it already exists. So if you're executing code over and over again, the replace option ensures that you don't get an error saying that the file filename.csv already exists in your data clean folder. So that replace option is really important. There is also an export Excel command. Um, that export Excel command um, has a similar replace option. It also has a specific option that indicates that we want the variable names to be stored in the first row. So it's really important that we include this option when we structure the commands. By default, Stata will export in the .xls file format. Um, if you specify XLSX as a file extension when you create the file name, 
it will save in that format. And like I said earlier, the main difference between these two file formats is the number of rows they can contain. Um, and so 65,000 rows versus over a million rows. There is also a difference in terms of the number of columns. Those column limits tend to be less of an issue for us than the number of rows. So keep that in mind as you make decisions. Um, if you're going to be joining data to a shapefile, you need to exclude both the export CSV option and the export Excel command in your do files. I want to walk through real quickly just how to do these export commands in Stata. So what we have here are that same housing vacancy data we've talked about before. Import it into Stata, drop some variables, rena rename the two remaining variables, and fix the format of the GOID variable. Now what we want to do is export these data to CSV, Excel, um, and the more modern Excel version. So for CSV, we're going to use that export delimited commands. We're going to save it to the data clean folder we created within the working directory. And we'll call this housing data.csv. Use the replace option and go ahead and save that data. We can also use the export Excel command to save a similar version of our data, just formatted for Microsoft Excel, to that same data clean directory. Remember, we want to use both the replace command and the first row option to make sure our variable names are saved in that first row. Finally, we can use the same export Excel command, but specify the .xlsx file extension to save our data in the more modern Microsoft Excel format. Keep in mind we need the same options as we did for the older version of the Microsoft Excel format. And we can save those data as well. I want to make one final reminder to you all about the difference between the Excel files and CSV files. And that is that the CSV files can be exported without destringing or converting to string any variables because CSV files do not retain that information that Stata does. Excel files, however, will retain that data. So if a variable is string in your Stata data set, it will be character data in a Microsoft Excel file. If your variable is numeric in your Stata data set, it will be numeric in your Excel file. So those D string and generate two string options are really important when you're working with Excel.